Yo, what is up everyone? This is OJ over here from Player Essence and once again I have to thank each and every single one of you guys. A few weeks ago I moved over to a new format of including Nintendo NX news, rumors, and discussion in addition to PE news videos. So I kind of combined the two where you'll get articles and you'll get Nintendo NX news and you guys have responded very positively. I've been getting a lot more average views across my videos. It seems like people who like Nintendo NX news and people who just like general news are coming together having great discussion and watching my videos so I really want to just say thank you to each and every one of you guys for sticking with me embracing the new format that I have going here so we're gonna go ahead and keep that going today we've got three awesome topics for you guys and this first one gets me super excited because if you did not know Lost Odyssey is easily one of my favorite games of all time it was a four disc epic made by Hironobu Sakaguchi the creator of Final Fantasy yes that dude made this game called Lost Odyssey on the Xbox 360 and that game is now finally playable on the Xbox One via backwards compatibility along with Toy Story 3. But nobody cares about that. It's all about Lost Odyssey, so that is awesome. And also another game called Gunwange or something like Agunage. I don't know how to say that game. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Lost Odyssey is here for all of you guys to download and play. If you have not played this game and if you have an Xbox One, go out to your local game store go out to your local GameStop go online purchase the game and install all four discs of this game on your Xbox one you will not be upset if you are a hardcore RPG fan this harkens back to the old-school Final Fantasy games with modern HD graphics this game is an epic it has so much content the story is amazing and I'll tell you guys this right now I have never been a huge fan of visual novels or anything like that but this game will make you rethink your whole life and make you rethink visual novels. The visual novels that they do in this game called The Memories or something like that, I don't remember, I played this game years ago, are so entertaining and so thought-provoking, seriously, it will make you think outside of the game and about your own life and about things in general, the lessons that it teaches you. They are fantastic. I cannot recommend this game enough. I actually did a review on it back when I used to do, I think, a series called like Just Games or something like that. I'll have a link to that in the description below. It's some of my first videos. It's a little rough, guys, but you can get a better feel if you want to hear my take on Lost Odyssey as far as the combat and everything goes. But trust me, you'll love it. I'm going to install it. I still have the original disc, so go out there, pick up Lost Odyssey. Play it on your Xbox One, then go beg Phil Spencer to get Sakaguchi to make another Lost Odyssey for the Xbox One. Just to make another Lost Odyssey in general. I just want that game, so please. Oh my god, a Scorpio? Oh, a Scorpio Lost Odyssey? Lost Odyssey Scorpio Edition? Yo, yo. Lost Odyssey 2 Scorpio Exclusive? <laughs> Oh man, that would be, oof, man, I'd be happy if that happened. But let's move on to the next topic here. And we have, in the UK, it seems like the NES Mini is selling out on Amazon, but there's more to be back in stock. So here's what it has to say on Amazon UK. Due to the limited stock, we are only able to offer one unit per customer per address. You'll be notified via email of the expected delivery date closer to the time. We'll be fulfilling customer orders in the order in which they were placed and expect to fill pre-orders by mid-December 2016. So there are going to be more and stock coming and the reason why I want to talk about this this is just the UK they probably didn't get like a lot that they can pre-order anyway but this NES mini is going to do extremely well I've got girls in my freaking office at work that don't play video games that don't know about the Wii U don't care about the Wii U but they love this thing they want to get one for the office and their home my actual manager she's buying three of these she's buying one for the office she's buying one for one room and then one for her kids room seriously like this is going to be crazy this NES mini is going to do very well I know people who aren't hardcore gamers that are already talking about this and the funniest thing was that I was at work and I didn't even bring this up like when the whole NES mini got announced like they brought it up to me so it just shows that this NES Mini <laughs> has gotten a lot of traction with the casual gamers, with the older gamers that remembered it growing up, females, males, everyone. So I'm really excited to hear about that. I'm going to pick up an NES Mini myself. I'm actually going to buy two of them, probably one for collectors, probably one to keep in my house, or maybe one to give away. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be playing because I'm not a huge fan of the original NES, but I just love what they're doing. I love the collector's item aspect of it and it's gonna be really cool to be playing that in the office too like on my breaks and stuff like that maybe we'll have competitions in there with some of the games so interesting stuff there and it's selling well it's obviously gonna sell well here in america europe everywhere so 
cool stuff there and then we're gonna move to the last topic here and also a little bit of a mini rant so the ubisoft ceo says that the nintendo edX will be put back in the race so eve gimon if i'm saying his name right i'm probably not but he talked about the nintendo nx again at a recent company shareholders meeting and he said that nintendo's next generation platform the nintendo nx which is due to launch in march will be back in the race all right so quotations from someone who was there on twitter basically they translated it and it said i believe nintendo will be back in the race with nx Gimon said, and this is actually pretty cool just because it's once again Ubisoft teasing. This is like the third tease in the past like week and a half to two that Ubisoft has said about the Nintendo NX and how they're excited and looking forward to it. And I do believe that the Nintendo NX will be a good system and it is going to sell if it's based on what I think it's going to be. But here's the thing that I'm going to rant about a little bit and on Twitter and on things like that. Anytime Ubisoft or any company says anything good about a Nintendo product, especially since the Wii U's failure, all we hear is, we've heard that before, we've heard that before, we've heard that before, or they always say that, or it's PR speak. So let me get this straight. It's PR speak when they said it about the Wii U, despite at the time when, um, when Ubisoft was saying great things about the Wii U, they had Rayman Plan as an exclusive, they had Zombie U Plan as an exclusive for the system, and they had multiple ports from Assassin's Creed, Splinter Cell Blacklist, and more planned for the system. How is that PR speak when you have exclusives and you have games planned for the system you are talking and praising? If they didn't think the system was worth something, then why invest in it? If you think it's trash, if you think if it's just PR speak, then why put your money towards it? I don't care how little of less money, it doesn't matter. The fact I get a little frustrated by people saying it's PR speak when Ubisoft actively says with the Wii U actively put out games and continue to support the Wii U until sales just dropped off of a cliff. And now they're doing the same thing. They've said, oh, we've got games for Nintendo NX. Hey, we've got more than just dance. They've been praising it. And what do people say? It's PR speak because it's positive. But if it's something negative on the Nintendo NX, oh, here we go. It's truth. Everyone says, look, you see, this developer said something negative. But anytime it's positive, it does not matter. Doesn't matter because you know what? They said that about Wii U. They said it about Wii U as if the concept of Wii U as if developers knew everything the system was going to entail and the fact that Nintendo was going to put the system in the place that it put it. Ubisoft and everyone kind of was thinking that Nintendo would, you know, do the same type of marketing, kind of push their system out there, would actually evolve the system and put out new features and things like that, which Nintendo did none of. <laughs> for the most part with the Wii U but like I said it is what it is people are always going to be skeptical until we actually see the system out so we'll see what happens all right guys that wraps it up for this video here go ahead and hit that like button if you did like it let's me know you guys want more content like this going forward in the future and subscribe to player access for more news reviews trailers tips and tricks and everything in gaming make sure you check out the description below there you'll have links over to our Facebook Twitter and Twitch page go ahead and give us a like and a follow on all of our social networks as I'll be having exclusive contests and giveaways just on there thanks so much for watching we'll see you for the next video peace